prolific modeler. He's in three quarter inch to the foot scale. His track is got double overhead and one control is for going one way and the other control is for coming back. They're former Brisbane Phoenix car controllers. Um, tram he's going to run is the O class, but there's many, many more trams that he could be running. Uh, unfortunately, half his line's closed because it's got a lot of stuff on it as he uses it as a um, workbench. W and he's pushing that up a bit. Well, he's changing poles. Sydney R, Brisbane Phoenix, a pair of C class with enclosed cabs. Another R, another R in the foreground. Another O class over the back. A W5 under construction, the O class that just ran, W7, P, uh, what's this, w, SW6 under construction, W6 under construction, the layout does, does continue around further but he's doing an exhibition next week so um, preparations are underway for that. Over here, in storage is a, a, another P, another R. Looks like a couple set of O's, or a pair of O class, at least in um, the old colours. And we'll try and pick up the tram coming back. Poles always come off when um, when the camera's going. They all went in and out of there before. Okay. I'm going to bring the W back. You know what? You know what? Because the, the rope is tangled around the handle on the head. It's pulled off. Yeah, well, that happened on real real trams too. That's pulled itself off. Pulled it. Yeah. Pulled yeah. Just while this car's off the tracks, it's a chance to see how the driver's done. It's a gear ratio of approximately 6 to 1, with two axles power per car, which is basically what I consider to be satisfactory as well, 50% drive. A slightly closer close-up of the gears, an extra close-up view of the ears which are basically washers cut in half and with a little hole drilled in them. This is a track frog built by Barry Nielsen. As you can see, a fair amount of use has been made of um, a plasti bond or something like that. And the point blades have a certain Melbourne look about them. And this unit here could be useful too to copy. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a set of points that Barry made himself and describes as rough as guts, but I said, do they work? And he said, yes, so that's all that matters. The Brisbane Phoenix was Barry's first tram, built around about 1970. The Sydney Model Exhibition 1999. This is Barry Cox's three quarter of an inch to the foot tramway. A double track over with a crossover. 